What's going on guys and welcome back. So pretty much EA have just dropped the winter upgrade cards on Ultimate Team. I think there's 130 plus of them, which is crazy. A lot to choose from. And I thought it'd be a good idea if I did a sort of a team review for every single league. So the BPL, Serie A, League of BBVA. And I'm going to start off with the main league, which is the BPL. So if you do enjoy this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And let me know in the comments section if you got any of the upgrades right. Or you thought maybe some players didn't deserve one and they got it. So yeah, we're going to go through the team now and then I'm going to take off face cam and I'll show you uh, some of the clips and tell you what I thought about the team. So in goal, we've gone and got the upgraded Joe Hart. Uh, I did in fact pay 46,000 coins, which I don't think it's too bad. I think that's an okay price for Joe Hart, actually. Uh, I think I could see him going up, maybe. We've got Nathaniel Klein over in the right mid position, uh, 13,000 coins. We've got Emre Chan, who's four-star skills as a centre-back, which is ridiculous. 24,000 coins paid. We have my main man, Koscielny, who I really enjoy on the game, and with this upgrade, it just makes him even better. 58,000 coins paid. We've got Dave, or Aspela Quetta, uh, 7,900. And then, the, oh, this one is seriously good. Sizoko, position change and upgraded. Absolutely perfect. And he's back there in, well, I like to play him as a center mid or CDM, but as we've uh, built a 4 1 2 2 he's a CDM and 3,800 coins. You can't go wrong with that. Really, really good price. Right mid position, we've got the upgraded Alexis Sanchez, 164k. A little bit expensive, uh, but he is a good player. Got some nice stats there. Over on the left hand side, yes, Rolando Arons. He's gone and got himself one 30,000 coins, which is a bit steep, but I'm um, a new Castle fan, so I thought I'd pay that. And then in the cam position, who played very, very well, which is Fabregas, 34,000 coins. He, I did, in fact, pay. And then we've got the two main strikers up top. The first one, I didn't think he was going to get it. Well, I did actually. I was, I was always saying that he would get an upgrade, but deep down, I didn't think he would. But EA have given a Jose Perez an upgrade, and this card is awesome. Six games, three goals, and 50,000 coins paid. And then the second one, who I was quite shocked about, and it is Jovetic there, was 6,100 coins, six games, two goals, three assists. Overall, the team didn't score like a hell load of goals, but it was really well balanced and I enjoyed it. So I'm going to show you the goals that I did score and uh, talk about the team, take off face cam. So if you did enjoy it, drop a like and let's get into the clips. Let's go. So uh, what did I think of the team? Well, pretty much the 4 one 2 one 2 formation I'm a fan of this year and I think it's vital to have a CDM. But a couple of the players that I really enjoyed playing with, first one, a Jose Perez, my man from Newcastle, and he felt a lot quicker than I initially thought. And he was banging them in, even against gold goalkeepers. And then you got Jovetic there next to him who felt a lot stronger and he was out muscling a few players and he's also got a nice finish with the four star skills. Fabregas was scoring a, quite a few goals that I didn't think he would necessarily have scored with his non-upgraded card so I was impressed with that. Rolando Arons, um, I would have hoped he was a little bit better but he's got okay dribbling for someone who's got three star skills and he's very quick. Sanchez, I'm a fan of his non-upgraded card and this one doesn't feel too much like there's been a change but he's still a good card and obviously Sizoko, that CDM change. I love it. Really, really. Uh, I'm actually going to probably build like my old school 352 French team, although the formation 352 isn't great. But I'll probably bring that back. Then you've got uh, Aspera Quetta, who is average. I didn't really notice too much of him. Uh, Kushelny, very, very good. You've also got Emre Chan, who I, I thought he was going to be really bad, especially him being like a, well, a centre mid, being brought back to, uh, well, he wasn't being brought back. He was moved to centre back. Uh, I thought he was going to be pretty poor, but he actually felt kind of strong in the tackle. Um, obviously not as well-rounded as you would like, but he's got four-star skills, which makes him fine. And then Nathaniel Klein and Joe Hart, which are just pretty good. They're not too bad. Not much difference between Joe Hart and Nathaniel Klein. Just feels a bit faster than there is, uh, well, silver card. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the little team review. If you want me to do another one, please do let me know in the comments section. Drop a like on today's video, and I will see you on the next one. So guys, let me know in the comment section if you're excited about these upgrade players and let me know what league you want me to do next. Leave your comments in the comment section and I will see you on the next one. Peace.